This is Piers Morgan Live. You spent eight years with him. Um, you said here that you had eight years and your dream was to have a husband, a soulmate, a best friend in him, which is what you had. And then in 2009, I think, he called off your wedding. And it was only last week when he telephoned you that you discovered probably the reason why, which was that he's been gay the whole time. Yeah, it's a lot to uh, process at this point. Um, but, you know, I think that I still have a, those opportunities. I still have time to have children and my husband and, and all of those wonderful things. So that is the upside. And um, it's a lot to comprehend in terms of really having quantifiable reasons or qualitative reasons that contributed to the outcome of 2009. And I really uh, care a lot about Jason. He's a great individual. We had incredible moments together and um, you know I want him to be happy and I want him to have a wonderful future. We have to be accepting and I certainly am. You know I'm straight. I'm definitely a, will have a husband at some point but I've played professional basketball. I'm six foot five and you know I've had teammates that are different from me and I am very accepting for people not only just for how they play on the court but more importantly who they are as a person and who they are as a person dictates how much I respect them and how much I value them and their friendship so I'm really you know I really see a lot about society that we're learning through this process and through the information that's been shared and hopefully we can just help people become better at who they are he actually called this past weekend and we spoke a couple of times on Monday so it's really fresh in my mind to be honest with you and um, I have close friends, close family, people I'm just so thankful I can confide in them. Uh, my mom's a former psychologist and you know it's just wonderful to have that support system but um, it's going to be a, a process absolutely and um, it just takes a lot of perspective and a lot of um, understanding and a lot of open conversation. I think open dialogue at this point is the healthiest thing and I really value that. You know, I value that between Jason and I and I value that between, you know, himself and his family and the ones that are closest to him, you know, and I think that that's did, where did that he, comfort level comes from is that... Right. Did, did he apologize to you? Um, I think he's in the process of taking ownership of the here and now, which is actually coming out, you know, and um, that can be very, I, I assume, overwhelming. Um, you know, I did invest eight years in our relationship with a shared dream and vision with him, and I value that. Um, I had to rewrite the script, and I still am rewriting it, and it's um, it's been very challenging. Um, so, you know, that's a natural, hopefully, a natural progression for him to look at things from all different angles and. You know, as he becomes more comfortable with himself, I think, you know, that time will allow for some perspective on that as well.